Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things, and happy T Tuesday to you. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. Um, you guys, today I have a tag. I was tagged by Sweet Veronica from Christie's Crazy Crafty Life. I have to say it slowly because I said it wrong three times already. <laughs> and she tagged me in this tag where the hashtag is five must-have crafty items. I think I'll have to go back and check the, the hashtag exactly, but you have to share five of your must-have crafty items, things that you always use. Instead of just showing you five individual items, I'm going to talk about five different categories of things that I use because I can't just show you five. I have way too many things that I need to have when I'm crafting. So that's why it's going to be a category of things, okay? So we're gonna start with the first thing, the first category of things. It's going to be cutting, cutting supplies. And in that, as you can see, I have different scissors. I have my paper trimmer here from Fiskars and I'm also going to include in this my Big Shot uh, die cutting machine, which I rarely use now because I have issues with my hands and my arms, so I don't die cut as much anymore. But uh, that's also included in my cutting items. Um, why do I have different kinds of uh, scissors? Because, well, this one is Augustine's, and you know, when he's uh, crafting with me or doing things you need to have his own I have this decorative scissors um, which I have another one but I don't know where it is and I've had this for like 20 years or 22 years from when my oldest son was little and when we did projects together I have this thing that you use to cut fabric so you know each Scissor is for a different purpose. This one you can use for fussy cutting. This one you can use to cut, you know, different kinds of materials like fabric and things like that. These are uh, one of my favorite ones for fussy cutting, but these are old, so I have to buy me a new pair. This is the Westcott Titanium. This one is from Walmart. It was only like five bucks. This one here, I got it recently from Hobby Lobby, and this is what I'm using now to do fussy cutting. And I really like it. It works very well. If you have like smaller, smaller projects, you can always use this one from Dollar Tree. This was a dollar, a dollar when it was a dollar. <laughs> These ones are new also from Hobby Lobby. I haven't used them very much yet. This one is from Tonic. This one is also for like small projects, like fussy cutting and things like that. So I need to, you know, have different ones. This one I got for Augustine also, and I'm not gonna lie, I got it because the color was beautiful and that's my favorite color. So, you know, you need to have different scissors for different kinds of materials you're cutting. And, you know, if you wanna do like a decorative edge to a paper, you can use this and it's easy. You don't have to die cut it. You can just use your scissor and, you know, they all have their own purpose. So those are my cutting um, tools that I need to have around me when I'm crafting. And I don't just, you know, when I sit to craft, I need to have all my scissors and I need to have my paper cutter and all of this. I use all of it. So that's why it's one whole thing. Okay, so this could be category number one. And now we're gonna go into number two. So let me just switch this just a sec. Okay, you guys, number two, it would be adhesive. And let me start with the wet ones first. So adhesives, I don't use the glue gun very much, but I always need to have it. If I use it, I need it to be a high temp and I need it to be a fine point. So you can see this one is not big. This is really, really little. And I don't want it to get a big blob of hot glue. And then when I have my project all done, you're gonna have as much hot glue 
you know, on the outside of the, the lines and it's just that drives me crazy. So that's why I don't use it that much. You know, I could use it maybe to glue some, I don't know, a bow onto something. I mean, just specific projects that I use it to. I don't use it very much because I always like my projects to look clean. And if this is going to go all over the place, I don't want it. <laughs> but that's in the glue section. And I like to have different kinds of um, glue gun um, sticks. You know, as you can see, they sell them in like glittery and they have all sorts of different colors that I've seen. I have even seen neon colors that I haven't purchased yet because, you know, I don't use it that much, but I might because you can use this hot glue gun also to make some fake um, <clears throat> wax seals. Instead of using the wax, you use your hot glue gun and then stamp it with your um, the same stamp that you use for the wax seals, but you use your hot glue. So I might buy the neon colors, we'll see. Um, so yeah, you know, different colors. Uh, sometimes at Dollar Tree, you can find some glittery ones as well, but all the other crafty stores or Amazon, they also have it. Okay, so in the, in the um, wet glue, my favorite is this one. The Art Glitter Glue is really strong glue. And if you have watched my videos where I do a craft with me or whatever, I always like using this one or the Fabri Tag. Those two are my favorite wet glues because this one, it's great for adhering, you see, glass, leather, trims, fabric, lace, it bonds everything. Metal, you know, when you have like a metal thing that you want to glue on a project, this one works wonders. And this one is great also. The Art Glitter Glue also um, glues trims and things like that. And it's permanent and it's water-based. So this one is really, really good. What I like about this too, glues is that they dry super quick i mean if you like to have a little wiggle room for when you're creating something these are not the glues for you because they grab super quick but that's what i like about them and so those two are my favorite ones so you know i have the little bottles here of our glitter glue that i uh, refill which i still have to do this one is also well this one i need to I have it here, so I, re, you know, to remind me that I need to buy me a new one. But this was E6000. E6000 is a really, really good glue also. And this one you can use to glue everything as well, and it's never going to come apart. So this one is also one of my favorite ones. So those three are my go-to glues. Tacky glue is like a school glue but it's really, really strong also. I tend to use this when I'm like creating projects for like Augustine, you know, when we're crafting together, if he wants me to make something for him, I'm not gonna use my other, you know, glue that it's more expensive. So I just use the tacky glue. And this one you can even find sometimes the little bottles at Dollar Tree and things like that. And this one's I had purchased recently from Walmart, hoping that I was gonna like them because this one is much cheaper than the Fabri-Tac, the Fabric Fusion from Aileen's, but this one doesn't dry right away like the other ones, so I didn't like it, but I will use it. Of course I will. Um, I also like having a glue stick. This one is great for when you are gluing uh, napkins or when you're gluing tissue paper and things like that you know uh, thin papers this is great to attach those things and you know for any other kind of projects also but you know if you like I would use this to put down a napkin and then over it I will like mod podge it but, you know but if you use this sometimes you don't get so many wrinkles you know and it's it goes down easier and it's not gonna like break the paper or anything, you know, you still need to be gentle, but the, the uh, glue stick is really, really good. I like the purple one because I see where I put it. And then when you put it on the page, it's purple, but then um, it disappears. 
so when I'm applying it I like it because you can see where you apply it and if you're doing like collages and things like that this is what you need to do also um, this glue I purchased from Dollar Tree many years ago probably like two years ago and I recently found it and it's the same as this it goes on purple and then it dries clear and I have two big bottles of this this is the first one that I opened and I do like it it's good for like you know like I said for projects with Augustine and things that you know I don't know how long it's gonna last glued together but like I wouldn't use this in a project that I'm gonna send to a friend because I don't know if it's gonna come apart but if I'm gonna use this with like you know activities with my son then I would use it this one I bought it because I I heard some good reviews about it the Nouveau adhesive and I did use it because you know I had purchased it so it's like have been used um, but I didn't like it very much I will never switch it for the art glitter glue and this is a smaller bottle too but you know it's okay it's not so permanent as this one I've glued things with this and they came apart so I don't like that this one's I've had for years it says precision tip this is like craft glue also and it has a really tiny tip so you can use this also but you know I've had this for years like you know more than 10 years and I only used half of one so I don't like it very much but I have it just in case you know um also what you need to have <clears throat> in the adhesives are different kinds of uh, glue dots and this one's you know are those like squishy kind of glue dots so if you want to attach something you can use that and also um, pop dots which this one says pop dots and it's the same kind but I also like to use this kind here which is um, the double-sided tape this one you can find at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five, and it's really good. I've used this in making cards, and you know I think they are okay. Um, then you also have like the the puffy tape, you know, like the foam tape. This one, if you wanna put it under your projects to like lift them up a little bit, give them some dimension. This is what you need to use. And this one here is the same thing, but they come cut already and this one is really really strong i like this i buy this from dollar tree all the time it's in the tool section and i like those and i also have the little ones the little square ones in the bottom but i'm running low so i need to buy more so you know i have this you know near me when i'm crafting because i need to have all my glues at arm's length so i can use them uh, whatever i need when i'm crafting so yeah those are the adhesives and that's only number two. Ooh, i need to go faster okay and talk less hold on <laughs> okay guys number three are tools tools that i always use and i need to have handy are a mat like this one the pink one i have a gray one that i use for when i'm painting it's all covered with paint and sprays and things so it's not looking that pretty so that's why i have the pink one here for you to see it's, it's you know it looks better than the other one <laughs> but when you craft on it you know it gets scratched you get glue so at some point soon i might have to get me a new one also and just keep one just for filming and then just the other ones for crafting um so tools in the tools i'm going to include this fuse tool which i have been using more lately I've had it for years and I haven't used it as much as I wanted to, you know, I bought it thinking that I was going to use it for lots of things and I then I, you know, put it away and now I have been using it more. So I'm happy with it. Now I know how to use it very well and I'm feeling comfortable. Uh, this one is my uh, Crocodile from We Are Memory Keepers and this one is also the same brand. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just telling you the brand in case you don't know, in case you want to know. It says, we are memory keepers here. 
and this one it helps me um, it has two different size punches here and this is what I use to set my eyelets on my projects when I'm doing paper crafting so yeah it's really good I really like this and you know you switch this you move it depending on what you want to use so um, in the tools, I'm also including, you know, rulers. I always need to have a ruler in case I want to measure. I also can use this mat because it has measurements, but I oftentimes just use a ruler instead of the mat. Unless I'm doing a video, then I use the mat. Um, in the tools, I'm also including this super cheap uh, corner rounder punch which I received when I bought my laminator. The laminator should also be here as a tool, but I haven't used it in so long that I'm not gonna put it in here because I haven't really laminated anything for the past six months. <laughs> so, but this I use on a regular basis, especially when I'm making, you know, I don't know, like tags and things like that. Or lately that I've been creating a lot of journals. I've been using this, I've been rounding all the corners um, because I like that, how it looks, you know, it looks more finished. So yeah, this is a cheap one and I should invest in a different one with like different um, designs for the corner um, rounder punch. But I have to, you know, start looking and see. But for now, this one that came with the laminator works wonders, I've been using that. Um, I have my bond folder here that came with my scoreboard. The scoreboard should also be here, but that's a big thing. So I'm not gonna put it in here. It's gonna cover my whole area. But this came with the scoreboard. It's a Martha Stewart scoreboard where you can score all the paper and then fold it. If you guys haven't seen one or you wanna see it, just let me know and I'll do another video where I'll show you how I use it. Okay, but yeah, this is a bond folder. And this one I use more than the scoreboard because if I want to fold something and I want to crease it, then I use my bond folder, which this one is very little and I've seen bigger ones. Uh, so I need to find me a bigger one, I think. But you know, this one is what I use usually and it's, it's good. Uh, in the tools, I'm including a brush I, uh, because sometimes I have to you know, do some mod podging or whatever. So I have to have a brush with me. And this one was gifted to me by my sweet friend, Patty from Life with Patty. And I love it. I love that it's colorful. So I have it with my tools. My cheater glasses from Dollar Tree are part of my tools as well, because if I don't use that, if I don't wear those when I'm crafting, I can't see a thing, you guys. I need to have all sorts of this kind of little things to hold the projects together, you know, these little clamps, things. Um, I always need to have a pencil to mark if I need to. So this is in my tools, uh, a pokey tool. This was uh, gifted to me by, I think, Susan Tootsie Tucker. Um, this one, it's a tool that I use. This part here, this is waxy. And this one I used to grab my jemmies. And this one, this area here, I don't use much, but this is what I use. Um, I have all these tools here, these pliers that I use for, you know, when I have to work with beads. So I always need to have those tools with me. And uh, these tools also I have. And I use them more as pokey tools than anything. Um, and I have some other ones that I use that are not here that I specifically use for when I'm making junk journals, but that's in the junk journal in the end. So I don't have it here. But when I'm crafting, let's say I'm doing any project, I have this in this little metal thingy and I have it next to me. And then I get whatever I need from here. Uh, this one, I bought it from Dollar Tree. This is for those of you that have a Cricut machine, but I use it as a bone folder and it really works well. It's, you know, it's like wider. So I like that. So those would be the tools that I use the most, you guys. Tools, okay? Not, not the same as the scissors because those are cutting supplies and I need to have those too. <laughs> so yeah, so these are the tools that I use the most. 
Okay, so this is number three. Let's go to number four. Yay. Okay, you guys, number four must have for me are jewelry findings and beads in the same category because I need the findings to play with the beads. So that's why this is one category, okay? So in this little thing here, I have some lobster claws in different colors, different sizes. I have some pins, some head pins, some eye pins, some different colored chains, uh, more lobster claws in different colors, some, some of those jump rings and some both pins and you know all those kind of things. In here I have some different charms so all of that all of that is number four oh uh, look at this little this one is like a a bubble tea you know you probably have tried the bubble tea right with the bubble balls well this one is a bubble tea and it's an eraser and the eraser came apart and everything, but I glued it together with E6000 and then I put the little thing here, the little loop, and I turned it into a charm. So how cool is that? I have a lot of those. I did the same thing with this bunny here. This bunny came from Dollar Tree and I put the little thing and now it's a charm bunny, but this one is also an eraser. So yeah, you know. So I have some charms here and I have some more uh, different things that I use here for when I make my chunky chains and things like that, you know, the bead, um, the things that I put in the center, in the middle between the beads, you know, I have my gold eye pins, my lobster claws, everything in there. So this is just one of the containers because I'm not going to show you all of them. I'll be here till tomorrow, you guys. But yeah, so some jewelry findings and beads, that's my must have items. This is number four. And if you like looking at beads, you can, um, in my channel, I have a video where I showed my bead collection and I separated them by color and all of that. And I have that video somewhere in my playlist. If I find it, I will link it below so you guys can look at all the different color beads that I have. And every time I go to a craft store, I'm drawn to beads and I'm always looking at them and I'm always buying more beads and more beads. I have to keep buying more containers to put them in. So yeah, number four is beads and jewelry findings. So number four is all about jewelry. Okay, and let's go to number five. Okay, you guys, number five is embellishments. And what I mean by embellishments is anything that I can use to make a project look beautiful, like flowers. I have this Dollar Tree container here with flowers. I have two of this same size. This is like the shoe box and I got this recently this year. Um, and I have this one full of different flowers. And I think I need to buy a third one because this one are too squished in here. I have some crochet flowers. I have these flowers that my mom and my aunt made. I have these flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I even have my Smith and Roll that I made here because it's, it has flowers. I have these flowers, all kinds of flowers. So embellishments, to me, to embellish something, a flower, makes it super super beautiful or a bow and i also have a box like this with bows and things um see over here you see the flowers different kinds of flowers different kinds of flowers see different colors different things different textures flowers of all the colors you can imagine and all different materials so yeah flowers are parts of my embellishments, things that I like to use to uh, make something beautiful. And in that same category are my trims and ribbons and 
you know, all sorts of uh, embellishments. Like, let's say this kind of trim here, it has like a lot of different, like little flowers. You know, I got this from Amazon recently, but yeah, see? This is also, this is like a trim, that's why it's in here. You can see the daisy one over here. Um, I have all sorts of different kind of uh, rolls of trims here from like Dollar Tree and different places. Things that I had uh, received in Happy Mail, like this one here came from like Canvas Creation. And I love it, I love that color, so I have it here because I use it a lot. You know, all sorts of different trims and laces and pearl trims and things like that. Have bows in here, more lace, some pom pom trim. You know, all sorts of things. Some more pom pom trim. Um, in here, this is also embellishments for me. Uh, those pearls, you know, those pearl trims. The holographic pearl, that pearl thingy, those jimmies, see those ones? The gold one, the gold chain. Oh, I got this gifted from um, my friend recently, um, Lori Sabag. This one is in silver. You know, all of these are things that I used to embellish. And I just love using them. I love shiny things. So yeah, like flat bags and things like that are also in this category because I like embellishing a lot. That's what makes me happy about crafting. And you know, trims. I'm obsessed with trims, you guys. Every time, every time, I'm not gonna lie. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I look at the trims or Hobby Lobby or Michaels. But Michaels never, um, I don't go to Michaels very much lately because I feel like they don't have a lot of sales going on. And you know, if you want to have a lot of something, you better buy it when it's on sale because you're not going to pay full price for a roll of trim every time you go, you know, because they can be like $4 for a roll of trim, you know, so it's better to buy them when they're on sale. And when they are on sale at Hobby Lobby, they can be like 49 cents or 72 cents, like see, this one here was 49 cents. So every time Hobby Lobby has trim for sale, I try to grab at least a couple to add to my stash, you know, in different colors, blues and reds and greens and yellows. So yeah, so trims are part of my embellishing, part of my embellishments. I have different holidays and things in here all mixed together, <laughs> uh, but yeah. I love it. I love it, you guys. This makes me happy. Looking at these trims and see all the colors really, really makes me happy. So, but yeah, but make sure you buy them when they're on sale. So those are my five must-have items. So, you know, I can be happy with just having trims and embellishments and things like that, because even if I don't have like a specific um, designer paper, I can grab, you know, recycle things and create a project and then embellish it with a nice ribbon and put a beautiful flower, you know, you can just have, because let's be honest, we around the house, we have like tissue paper and wrapping paper and all kinds of different, you know, even like, um, like a school book, you can fussy cut it and create something using those things, you know, recycle things, use your packaging. And then if you have a beautiful trim, you can make a nice tag out of it without having to go to Michael's and buy a paper pad, you know? You can create your own. So yeah, but all the glues, I need that, and I need my tools and, you know, all those other things. But that's why you don't see paper in here because paper, I can use anything to craft with. And if you guys didn't see my last week's uh, wrapping paper Wednesday, you should go check it out because I give you ideas on how to use, you know, recycle things. I use uh, tissue paper and packaging and you can see, you know, you can make things with that. I'm going to link that video below so you can go take a look. And that's it. And I think I'm going to let you go. I didn't even show you my tea that I had prepared for me. <laughs> I was drinking a tea that my mom brought uh, to me, you know, from Chile. 
Uh, I'll put a screenshot at the end of this video, but yeah, I'm gonna let you go. Please go check out Veronica's tag, what she showed in her video. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Veronica said that this tag was started by Crafty Sue. Um, so the tag started by Crafty Sue and I was tagged by Veronica. So Crafty Sue also has a challenge going on and talking about challenges, um, Mary Ellen also has a challenge going on, so go check her out, please. I'm gonna link everybody below, everybody that I mentioned, and all the videos that I mentioned that I had about my bead collection, and the last week's Wrapping Paper Wednesday. Wrapping Paper Wednesday is an open collaboration, so if you guys wanna join me, feel free to do that. Upload any Wednesday, use the hashtag Wrapping Paper Wednesday. I'm the host, so feel free to tag me so I can see what you created. Okay, you guys, thanks a lot. Sorry if this video was long, but I, you know, I really wanted to show you what I really, really, really like and what I really need to have when I'm crafting. Okay, you guys, have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, before I go, I think I have to tag some people. So I'm going to tag Patty from Life with Patty. I'm going to tag uh, Gina from Gina Loves to Craft. Um, I'm going to tag again um, Caris from Caris Means Grace because she liked that I tagged her last time. And I think I'm just going to tag those three people because you all probably had done this. Okay, you guys, have a great day. Love you. Bye. Thanks for watching.